Snow at the very high elevations, but for the rest of us, maybe you owe a tenth to a quarter of an inch of rain coming in. We could use the rain. My Fox LA right here on your computer, on your mobile app. Check us out anytime. Have a great weekend. We'll see you next Monday. And we talked about that marathon. Tens of thousands of runners will take to the streets Sunday for the Los Angeles Marathon. There it is. A 26.2 mile race starts at Dodger Stadium and winds its way west through Hollywood and Beverly Hills all the way to Santa Monica. James Coe is live downtown where he's been talking to some amateur runners who've been training for the big day. James? Yeah, well, we're in uh, downtown Santa Monica, and again, we're kind of where the race is going to finish up, near the corner of California and Ocean. It's called the Stadium to the Sea track, right? I mean, here's the sea right over here. And, and I know a lot of runners, they've run this marathon dozens of times, but for some of the folks we talk to, it's their first or second time, and boy, they couldn't be more excited about it from all over the world and from Scotland all walks of life are converging in LA to run the LA Marathon this is my second marathon I'm super excited like it's my first marathon but I'm scared that something bad would happen to me because it's our first one after 21 miles I cramp I crap but I finished it so I'm so glad I did I thought I was gonna die not encouraging words for runners like Brian Donahue who at 40 years old is running his very first marathon I said I was going to do one by the time it was 40 that was last month, so a bit behind schedule, but I'm getting there. Then there's little Mariana Nunez. She's just 14 years old. What in the world inspired a 14-year-old girl to run a marathon? I have no clue. <laughs> They were just a few of the thousands that poured into the LA Convention Center Friday afternoon. Booths hawking their wares to runners, while family and friends go, Bobby, go. recorded encouraging video messages that automatically will play on video screens along the route when sensors detect the matching numbers that the runners wear. I think that it's going to inspire them. Seeing their friends out there cheering them on, saying, you got this, keep going, I think that's going to bring them like bring them up and they'll be like, oh, I got this, and they're going to start running even more. All right. All right, so here we are at the finish line at Santa Monica, and as you can see, you can probably expect a very good amount of traffic tomorrow, all day, and uh, all the way into the evening. As uh, Pablo mentioned, the race starts at about 7 a.m., should finish here at around 5 p.m., or when the last stragglers come through. So there you go. And again, that technology, what a really, really cool technology that is, that you can record video messages for your family and friends who are running this marathon to try to keep them going. Guys? Yeah, I don't get it. Driving that route, boy, yeah. Yeah. Boy, the route. <laughs> Current and former officers speaking out tonight, part of our special.